Welcome back to Talking Fitchburg. Joining me this morning from the Fitchburg Fire Department is Adam Dorn. Hi, Jeremy. Welcome back. Thank you. Long time no see. Yes. Did you get your haircut recently? I did. Oh, I way, did. Way to go on that. Right. I need a haircut myself. But that's not why you're here. No, it is not. No, it not even not. close. <laughs> Uh, this morning, uh, we're, we're taking on uh, serious topics here uh, and uh, related to uh, fires in December, mm -hmm. commercial fires specifically, right. and uh, kind of how codes became of major fires, right, more right. or less. But, uh, you know, we got to st we start off here and what maybe brings awareness, especially recently, is a recent incident, uh, and it's that uh, City of Oakland uh, fire on 31st Avenue. Uh, so uh, why don't you kind of fill us in here on uh, why December? Yeah, it, the Oakland fire really kind of brought this forward for me because we've heard of other fires such as the Our Lady of Angel School fire in Chicago. Um, that actually happened in December, on December 1st in 1958. Um, at that point in time, there were 92 students and three nuns that had died in that fire. And it was basically because the smoke, heat, fire, and toxic gases cut off their normal escape routes. Um, and they did not know how to get out other than those main corridors. So, um, and at that time, they started to jump from second floor windows and some other things. And it was just kind of a really difficult time for not only the people that were there, but also the responders. Um, a few years later, actually a few years earlier, sorry, <laughs> uh, actually on December 7th, uh, the Weinkauf Hotel fire in Atlanta, uh, they had a fire there. It was actually built to be a fireproof building. Um, but with the way it was uh, built, it was actually a square where they had an elevator and a staircase in the center of the building. But that's actually where the fire started. And 119 occupants of that hotel uh, passed away that day because of that. Um, and because of those two fires in December and a large one in November, on November 28th in 1942, a year after um, Pearl Harbor had been attacked, um, Coconut Grove fire happened in Boston, Massachusetts. So in there, there were 492 people that were killed and that was at a, basically a club, what we would consider now a club. Um, so there's been a lot of lo large amount of deaths in and around the December month throughout the years. This one in Oakland is another one, while it's not as large as the last couple that I talked about, it's still a large number of people. Yeah, for this day and age, with everything that we have for precautions and stuff, um, 36 is yeah, an enormous number. It is an enormous number. Um, and so I don't know all the facts. I'm not claiming to know them. And, you know, from some of the things that I have read, it's about a 10,000 square foot warehouse um, that they had uh, converted into a artist studio almost, where they had all sorts of different stuff in there. And we don't know the conditions of what it was before. We know what it is now after. Um, but we do know that there was one main way in and out of that building. And they had been cited a couple times for other things that, uh, codes have been in place for such as exits and the proper number of them and whatnot. So um, it's really important that, you know, when the fire department comes out to do inspections in buildings, generally commercial or commercial residential buildings, that people understand why we're doing these inspections because history has really uh, moved us forward so that we can protect life and property. So. That's one of the things that we're gonna do moving forward is kind of talk about why do we have some of the codes in place and some of the history behind it so that we can understand why it is there. Yeah, you guys are out uh, doing inspections quite a bit, um, you know, on commercial properties and stuff uh, to enforce those codes. So uh, let's, uh, let's go through uh, some of that. Yeah, so some of the real simple, easy ones to go through right away are making sure your exits are clear. We wanna make sure exits are clear because you wanna be able to get out at all times. Um, it doesn't matter you know, what kind of a building you're in, you wanna have two ways out. Just like in your home, when we talk about escape drills in your home, having two ways out, it's just like that in the building as well. Have two, maybe three, four different ways you can get out. Um, that's a big one, making sure that the exit paths to the exits are not blocked with stuff. Um, making, what we do is we come through, we make sure that the sprinkler system is 
has been tested and seems to be operational, as we can tell. Um, so those are some of the big ones that the fire alarm system is online and working. Um, so those are some of the real big ones that we look at when we come through. And as we go through some of these other historic fires, we're gonna start looking at what came of those for our codes. Absolutely, and if you're interested, um, resident, business owner, whatever, you guys actually have fire codes right on the website here as I'm looking at it. And, uh, and you've even got, pers you know, you've got the prevention, you've got what the inspection's gonna entail, you know, for you know, enforcement. Uh, it even goes down to new construction remodeling, um, testing the whole nine yards. Right. So there really is no excuse, right? Right, yeah, there's, there's no excuse to be safe in buildings anymore. <laughs> it, it really isn't because we're here for you and we wanna make sure that you are safe in your building, whether it's in your home or in your place that you work or place that you send your children to school or the place where you do have recreation. It doesn't matter, we want you to be safe and that's our job. So basically to sum this up, when we have large fires, although very devastating, you know, loss of life, property, um, what comes out of it is more education, um, codes are built, whatnot, and the ultimate goal is to be safe and exactly. safer. So, all right, Adam Doran, appreciate it. We'll catch up with you next time. Sounds good, thanks right. Jeremy. We need to take a quick break. We'll be right back. It is Talking Fitchburg.